Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great, great day. I figured that I will start like a vlog, like a busy mom day in the life because I have a lot of things that I need to do today. First of all, I have to clean. I just dropped off Emma at school and I have like a little mess going on in different areas of the house that I have to clean. I'm also filming a cleaning video on other parts of the house that I haven't got to um, as well. So figured i'll go ahead and just start the vlog with you guys and also i need to go to target to try to see if they still have easter eggs like discounted easter stuff because um my mother-in-law anthony's stepmom is throwing like a little birthday party next weekend and i told her like to keep the kids um you know entertained we should do like easter egg hunt for them since she didn't they didn't get a chance to spend time with the grandkids for easter that much so we're going to be doing like an Easter egg hunt. And I have plenty of eggs from Emma here that I can use, but not enough like for other kids to be also looking for eggs. So I'm going to try to see if I can get some stuff on discount at Target or like Walmart or Dollar Store or Walgreens or whatever. So that's what I'm going to go do right now um, before I go pick up Emma. I feel like I don't have enough time to do everything in the day because she's only going to school for three hours. And then um, I figured I will update you guys on Emma's IEP meeting and all of that. I was going to do a full sit down video on that, but I don't know how deep I want to go into the IEP meeting. So I'm just going to update you guys on general information about it. But go ahead and just continue um, with today's vlog. Definitely leave me a message down below. Let me know what you guys are up to. How's everybody doing? All right. So it's not too crazy today. Not too crazy today, but I'm going to go ahead and clean this little area that Emma kind of played with in the morning before we left to school. So we are at least done with this little area. A little bit more tidied up in that area. But you guys, big step. I don't know if you guys saw the little cocoa melon pillow and blanket over here. Emma slept in her mattress yesterday. Not in her bed because we still haven't built her bed. Anthony still has really bad neck problems. Which, by the way, I don't know if I told you guys, he has four discs that are inflamed. They're like bulging out of his um, neck. So that's why he's been in so much pain. And he's going to see a doctor this week. Hopefully they can get him into like physical therapy and see what they can do. Like maybe like a steroid shot um, in his neck for it. I don't know what, what they're going to be doing, but it's been in pain. We've been having issues with sleep with Emma. And I think it's because we've been moving around a lot because Anthony can't like get a position where he can sleep properly. And then I've been having like really bad lower back problems as well. We're just all messed up here in this family right now. So since we're moving around a lot, I think that that's causing Emma to wake up. So since we haven't built her bed, we just bought her, brought her mattress um, into our bedroom and put it on the bottom right next to us. And she slept there yesterday. 
So huge steps, she slept her own little mattress. Hopefully we can build her a little bed soon. I haven't been pushing Anthony to do uh, much work. Obviously he has to go to work and then I don't want him to like be doing extra work when he comes home when he's in so much pain. So we haven't built her little bed yet. But once that's done, then hopefully she'll be able to transition to go to sleep there. Today, we're gonna put her in the mattress again to see if she can sleep on her own once more. I was laying with her until she fell asleep and then I went to the bed, but at least that's a little transition. You guys know that we co-sleep, so that's like something huge for us. Like this is a lot. So hopefully we can keep her, keep doing that until we put the bed and then transition her into the bed. So definitely say a little prayer for me mostly because I'm the one that's anxious about leaving her in her bed, but yeah guys that's what's been going on but let's go ahead and just clean also this um table because i have like a little mess right here so let's go ahead and clear that and then let's take off to go to target to get the rest of the stuff that i need was going to clean this little mess that we have here but we both know or we all know not both but we all know that once little emma gets here from school she's gonna be playing with all of this so i'm gonna have to reclean it before therapy so i'll show you guys me cleaning it before therapy later because you guys know it's gonna get dirty again it's gonna get dirty again and by the way today is a gloomy gloomy cold day I know you can't see it, it looks <laughs> sunny and beautiful, but it's not. It's gloomy and cold and it's supposed to rain this week. So we're back into the rainy days. Spring showers. And by the way, Anthony got a new phone yesterday. I don't know if you guys noticed the bag in here. Um, he broke his phone and he was due for an upgrade anyways. So he ended up getting a new phone yesterday, which sucks because we couldn't get his stuff transferred um, to the new iPhone. So we're working on trying to go today again to the AT&T store and see if they can do something to transfer it because we're, we're going to get rid of the old phone and trade it in or whatever, but we couldn't transfer it yesterday and we have to go back again. I hate, I hate car shopping and I hate getting new phones because I feel like they take forever to transfer everything, to look for a phone, to do the whole process of course is not as long as getting a new car but when you get a new car it's like you're there at the dealership for the whole entire day i just i don't know i just hate the process of how long all of that stuff takes <sighs> let's go to target Still The thing that I hate about coming to Target is I forget what I'm coming from and I always end up with a lot more things. <laughs> and the item that I'm coming from, or I forget. So now I'm on the show aisle. Like, why, why, why? These are cute. Even like these pineapple looking ones. Um, Emma had these last year and I, they were like these. And I kind of like this color or the white ones for her. But I'm gonna have to wait because we don't have that much money right now. <laughs> I need to come back when we get paid. By we, when Anthony gets paid. Super cute. By the way, this Target is a hot mess, guys. Like, what the heck happened here? Like, what happened? Seriously, though. I mean, it's everywhere. So they have everything but the Easter eggs. Like, literally everything but Easter eggs. So. I have these. But they are, we won't be able to be candy in them, so. That's gonna have to be a no-go. How cute is that? 
So I'm stopping at Old Navy to get a birthday present because we have a birthday on Saturday that we're going to. That's why I was looking for the Easter egg hunt thing. So I'm gonna look on sales and see what they have um, for little girls, cause it's a little girl, she's two years old. They have so many cute things. How adorable is this? So cute. I want stuff for Emma now. Shorts. I watch you as you drive. Oh my goodness. Do you know so cute. You you put my favorite song on. I put my feet up and we just sing along. And I can't help but feeling just loving. So after Old Navy, I ended up going to TJ Maxx. I didn't film because I was on the phone the whole time with one of my friends um, from YouTube. We were just kind of like talking back and forth. And then I was trying to figure out the birthday party that we have this weekend, the size of the little girl. And so I can shop for her. I only ended up getting like two little dresses for her. I'll show you guys when I get home. And then I ended up getting cleaning supplies that I needed at Target. So I'll show you, I'll share with you guys when I get home. But right now I am outside of Emma's school, just waiting for her to get out. And we have ABA therapy right after um, we get home. I don't know if I told you guys in my last vlog and excuse me if I'm repeating myself, but Emma's ABA therapy, we're trying it earlier now. So she gets off of school at 11 and we're trying to have ABA therapy from 1130 till my hair is so bad right now, 1130 to 230, which is better for me. And I think better for her because she's been taking naps really late. And by the time the ABA therapist comes in the afternoon at two, she's been falling asleep. So we've been missing a lot of ABA therapy. I mean a lot because she keeps falling asleep during that time. So I feel like this is working a little bit better for all of us. Like for me, um, also like on my schedule and the time and everything, it's been working way better and also for Emma. But we're going to see, um, we're going to have to change it eventually. Uh, I don't even know if we're going to be doing ABA therapy next year, to be honest. I'll talk to you guys a little bit more before the end of the vlog of that, but now that we're done shopping, I'm gonna go ahead and go home and just keep cleaning. I picked up the kiddo right there. She's eating a cookie. And we have like literally five minutes until the lady here. She's already outside, but she checks in in five minutes. And um, I'm gonna share with you guys what I ended up picking up because we had to quickly stop by the grocery store. Please hold. Okay, we had to quickly stop by the grocery store and get some waters because I'm like literally out of water and I was like, I need to get water. I need to drink water and Emma doesn't have any water. I mean, she has juice and stuff, but anyway, so at Marshall's, I always say TJ Maxx or Marshall's wrong. At TJ Maxx, I found this cute little dress for the little girl's birthday. They're two of the same dress, but in different colors. And I just loved it. I thought it was so cute. I actually wanted to get another one for Emma. But for now, I ended up picking this up for the birthday party. And then I'm gonna get her like a little toy to put in her little gift bag or something else for that. But at least I picked up something for the birthday party on Saturday. That way I'm not running so late on everything. And at Target, I ended up getting some Chewables, um, Sarbies for Emma because we're out of her melatonin and the last couple of nights we've been out and she's been taking forever to, to fall asleep. I needed disinfecting wipes. I needed carpet cleaner, Resolve. And I needed hair dye because I need to dye my roots today. They're really, really bad. Like the gray hairs or just the tiny little gray hairs right here. So I need to do that. And last but not least, I ended up picking up some Dawn. But that's it, that's what I ended up getting today. <gasps> So now that the ABA therapist is here, I feel bad because I left all the mess right there, but she's gonna play with it anyways right now. So now that she is going to be here in a couple of minutes, I'm gonna do some of the dishes. That way I can go ahead and start on my, finish my cleaning 
channel's video. I started it yesterday and I cleaned the living room, dining room, and the kitchen and the bathroom, but I need to clean my room, Emma's room, and I need to go back to the kitchen and do a little bit more deep cleaning on it for the video. So I'll probably end up doing it while the therapist is here and Emma is a little bit entertained. We also changed Emma's goals with ABA therapy based on the IEP meeting that we had um, with the teacher. So that's something that we're doing different as well, but I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning. More cookie, please. Okay, okay, more cookie. I'm trying to get her to say stuff. And now I'm stuffing my face with some chicken teriyaki while well, Emma's outside playing with bubbles. All right, so ABA therapy, I left early because Emma was super tired of falling asleep. So she left early and I'm just going to edit some videos, do some stuff that I need to do for YouTube on my computer. And then I have to clean up this little area, which it was not left that bad today. So it was pretty, it's pretty good. I don't know if I'm gonna get to uh, doing my cleaning video until Anthony gets home unless Emma stays asleep for a while. If she stays asleep for a while after me doing all this, then I'll start on my cleaning video. I didn't really get a chance to do too much of that because the, um, ABA therapists have to leave earlier, Emma's asleep, and I have to do other things right now. But hopefully I can finish my cleaning video today. If not, it's okay, I'll finish it tomorrow. And now the little cutie is up, so she's just gonna play with her kinetic sand right now. We were up for, she's been up for a little bit. We were just like playing and dancing. And now she's gonna play with her kinetic sand. Where's your little friends? Where do we put them, Mama? Where are they? Hmm. Please tell me why my kid wants to watch this. <laughs> She literally cried because I put cocoa melon so she can like chill now that she woke up. She was playing with her sensory stuff and then playing with this and she wants to watch 
cakes step by step or whatever. <laughs> so random. Random. Entertained. Let me know if your kids watch stuff like that. Guys, really quick while we're just sitting here, Emma's watching that cake thing, that weird cake thing. Um, I was just going to tell you guys about the IP. Everything went good. Um, you know, it's always hard when you have to fill out paperwork, especially not for this IP meeting, but also for the six month um, thing for our ABA therapy. We had to fill out paperwork on like how Emma is progressing or how she's doing and then just kind of like filling out these paperwork like is she doing this is she not doing this yet um the milestones and all that stuff is always kind of hard to you know see she is doing really good at school however they do want her to interact more with others like with kids and then to kind of like play with them instead of just like she's you know she just snatches the toys from the kids she doesn't she does her own little thing she doesn't really play with other kids at school so that's like one of the goals for them of course we're trying to do the potty training as well oh my goodness my grace is insane potty training goals and all of that but um one of the biggest changes from the iep is that emma is going to go to i think it's called tk next year so it's preschool tk and then um kindergarten but she qualifies for TK, which is like a six hour day. Like it's a full on day, like if she was going to kindergarten. And that's so weird to me because Adrian didn't go to full kindergarten until he was five. Emma's only four. It's not kindergarten, kindergarten. It's pre-kindergarten, I guess. It's called TK here. And um, she would be going to school six hours or seven hours a day. I haven't looked at the school schedule yet, but it would start in August, this next school season. And I honestly feel like I am not ready. <laughs> like I am not ready for this change, like for her to go back to full school. And that's why I was kind of mentioning, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep ABA therapy after that because She's already going to be in school for so long. Let me move this right here so I can talk to you guys. She's already, don't mind this. Okay. She's already going to be in school for so long of a day that I wouldn't want to keep her in ABA for another three hours. I just don't know how that whole thing's going to work, to be honest. Maybe I'll separate the ABA days like Monday and a Tuesday, like Monday, Tuesday, and maybe Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, not have ABA, maybe just one hour a day. I don't know how that's going to work, but I have to think about what's going to happen um, with the whole like her starting school and everything. I've been thinking about um, going back to work. And if I did work, obviously, it would still have to be a part time because we don't have anybody to pick her up after school to drop her off for school. My mom works, Anthony's parents work, and I don't want to pay for a sitter because that would kind of defeat the purpose of me going back to work because <laughs> paying for a sitter is just as expensive as you know, my paycheck. So, um, so basically I've been debating, like, am I going to go back to work? If I go back to work, like part-time, what I'm going to do, all this other stuff too. But I'm honestly not ready for Emma to go to full-time school. Like, I feel like she's going to freak out because she takes naps in between still. So I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Definitely leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you guys deal with the transition from um, three-hour days to full six to seven-hour days with your kids. Um, and send lots of prayers because I'm honestly freaking out that she's going to be at school that long. I don't know. I'm honestly having like a little anxiety right now thinking about it, but I'm sure it'll be good for her to be around other kids longer and... Um, learning and all of that plus i'm probably gonna cut off either aba or just reduce it to a very minimal amount since she's gonna be doing so much school i just don't want her to feel overwhelmed like at school and then come back and then aba therapy and all of that and i know i get literally running out of like a place to film <laughs> like this thing keeps cutting off on me i have to delete some of my videos and come back and talk to you guys that's the sucky part about filming on your phone um, I have to constantly be deleting and filming, but I know you guys asked me a lot of questions about 
occupational therapy? Does Emma do occupational therapy? Does she do speech and all of that? That's already included in her school. So she does speech in school and she does, she does OT in school. So that's why she only does ABA therapy at home because that's included at school. So that's probably still going to be included in school right now. Um, also, and all she needs is ABA therapy after, but honestly, I'm considering not having it, like I said, so we will see how it goes, but obviously, she's also going to be going to summer school. That's something that we talked about. That way, she doesn't have, like, such trouble transitioning, because if we're, like, not going to summer school for the month or two, then she's going to be like, I'm now I'm going to how many hours of school, you know, after not going to school for a while, so we're still keeping her in summer school for the summer and then she's going to be transitioning to that uh, full-time school so yeah so i just kind of wanted to bring that up see if any of you guys are going through that change as well and how you guys are feeling about it <laughs> how your emotions are feeling how you are like grasping that your kid's getting <laughs> bigger and growing up i'm honestly so sad <laughs> so so sad about it but um yeah i kind of wanted to do it do a little short talk about that transition and that change in our life that's going to happen this summer. But I'm waiting for Anthony to get home right now. We're going to get ready and go to the gym. Emma loves the daycare, so she's going to be super excited that we're going to go and she gets to play. So I will see you guys in a we moment. We got little Miss Emma ready. We're going to go to the park. Look at how cute she is with the little rain boots. <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> Emma. Are you cute? Yes. It's nice and sunny over here. It's open. <laughs> go, baby, go. Thank you for looking back to see if mommy and daddy are coming with you. I appreciate it. She looks so cute. You look adorable, Emma. vlog right here right now today at this moment i'm just kidding i'm making um some marinated chicken grilled chicken on the george foreman emma's eating her peaches i'm making chicken mashed potatoes and some type of vegetable and that's going to be our dinner we went to the park like you guys saw after that we went to home depot because anthony needed to get some stuff for his um company's thing or whatever that they're doing uh, for tomorrow for his work and now that we're back i'm just making super late dinner because it is extremely late already and we're probably gonna watch some tv chill give them a bath and get ready for the next day go to sleep but i hope that you guys enjoyed this like busy mom day in the life get it all done whatever you want to call this video <laughs> today i hope you guys enjoyed it i know it's super longer than my normal videos Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you guys are good with longer videos. I'm still going to add shorter videos here and there. But if you guys are good with like my busy mom days or whenever I'm doing stuff to add those vlogs in here, leave me a comment down below. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And we'll see you guys next time on our next video. Bye.